Hey everybody, now, uh, hopefully this thing is working. Crowdflare sent me a message saying that it does seem to be working. So hopefully I'll be able to get do the voice again. Luckily I have now, now have the actual lines and I'll be able to do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, hi, hi Blossom. I'm still trying to work this. Uh, so you got inside the Seeger lab and then you saw this girl. That that was just an android. A robot of an exact replica of his older sister. Uh, she she died. I guess you deserve to know. I'll explain on the way. I just hope we're ready for this. We're going to take a little trip to the past. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess now was the best time to tell you that. I've activated the time cloak so we'll be invisible to anything in the area. That way no one nobody can see us well see us. Welcome to Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> With his sister always, always there to wreck, wreck them, always wrecking havoc, havoc and mayhem. You might say that they were, were inseparable pair. However, Dexter, being the typical man of science that that he was, often considered his free-spirited sister to be to be the biggest obstacle in his pursuit, so for scientific achievement. Or to make a long story shorter, they had a normal sibling rivalry like any brother or sister. In, in times of doubt, and when he was caged up in the lab for too long, Long Dexter would seek out his sister's help for guidance and enlightenment. Using her knowledge of the outside world, Deity continually taught Dexter the way of the Deity, or whatever you call it. Hey, you want to know don't know the truth. This is Mandark, Dexter's arch rival and nemesis. They they've both been at it for a long time now, trying to prove which one of them is, is the greater genius. M Mandark has long wanted to destroy Dexter's laboratory, and this, is, this, I believe, is his final assault. Dexter, on the other hand, is making his last stand. And then we see Blossom. Okay, now, here's the other part of the lines. Dexter never told his parents about his secret laboratory. But after what happened to Dee Dee, she knew he had to tell them one way or another.
Come, child, it is time. Fortunately for Dexter, his parents were, were very loving and understanding, and they too share his grief. Now nothing they now knowing they had lost their only daughter, they can they can only give as much love and comfort as possible to their now now one and only child. I predict the world's future, Blossom. This this is Dexter we're talking about. I, I'm sorry, but it's not my place. It's also my duty not not to interfere with personal matters. Besides, you and I both know Dee De De would never allow it. But please understand. Nothing is ever fair. And things have never been the same without Dee. Easy, Blossom. It's okay. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot some. Because his lab was destroyed by Mandark, never Dexter never had had the chance to preserve her body or brain. Brain in hopes of reviving her someday. But that didn't stop him. He was determined to bring her back. Back what, what he needed was a new body. That's when he, he created that android you saw, Blossom. And it wasn't just any android. He wanted to make it a, as human as possible. Liter literally. He began using real human organs collected from donors. He spent night after sleepless night working on the android. He wanted to be perfect. Virtually indestructible. And here's here's the next part. I should have told I should have told you earlier. Mandark is actually in love with Dee Dee, and her loss has driven him to state depression and guilt. He felt he was responsible for her death. Oh, here comes the good part. I didn't do anything to anything to her, I swear! Okay, that's most of the... most of the lines. Lines, uh, I'm gonna send this to Blueman and see what he thinks. I've improved my acting a bit, so Mr. Blueman, I really hope you like it. 